This is living. Oh my God, this is living. I never expected to be providing financial advice on this channel. You know, this is obviously a bit of a boat focused channel, but I'm, I'm gonna make an exception on this video because you're probably considering buying a support yacht or you've encountered a few scenarios with your current lifestyle that you are leading and you need a bit more space. And your mate sent you a brochure of a Damon or something other of that sort of caliber. And you know, you might be ready to spend eight, 10 million bucks on the thing to run around, follow you in your wonderful lifestyle that you are leading and support all those great activities. Well, I'm gonna tell you and your accountant today that you can save that eight, $10 million. You can spend a lot less and have just as much fun and do all those extra things that you've been wanting to do. My name's Dan Jones. Welcome to Dan's Boat Life, and today I'm on the Ocean Alexander Divergence 45. Um, I've just done the test drive, and the word that came to mind is domination. I feel like I've dominated the ocean today, and from a social and a fun perspective, I feel that's exactly what this boat is going to do as well. Um, so yes, we have filmed a test drive video that is separate to this video. Your here joining me for the walkthrough. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. If you wanna watch the test drive, subscribe and uh, check out that in our uh, video description. Um, walkthrough starting right now. Um, so here I am in the bow. This is a this is a 15 ton boat. So you, you don't feel movement. It feels like a large yacht. It does have all the capabilities of a large yacht, which we're going to get to when we get to the um, uh, when we get to the control sections. But with the gyro and with the basic uh, displacement and size and weight and beam of this vessel, it's a very comfortable platform to socialise and to drive and to run on. And Ocean Alexander have, with that in mind, created what I think is one of the most social bow areas on a day boat, on a support vessel uh, that I've seen in a long time. This is just absolutely gorgeous. And this is what a lot of people um, desire on, on something like this to be, you know, if you've got crew running the boat or if you're just going out for a family day to have those zones where people can relax, um, that's what they've achieved. So what do we have here? We've got one, two, three seating areas. That's obviously a sun lounge as well. Um, in terms of getting access to the anchoring setup, you can, just go through here. This is all obviously electrically operated from the helm as well, but you've got access in here and more visibility and bow operation with another control just there. We've got this absolutely gorgeous timber table just here. This goes up and down electrically. Um, this seat is probably, this is good enough for two people. Um, we've got drink holder here. We've got pop-up LED lights here, grab handles all the way around the bow um, as you can see, the flooring is it's quite suitable for our climate. It, it's just fiberglass, you know, it's got a bit of a, a grip um, to it on, on, on your feet, but it's not teak. So from a maintenance perspective, that's great. Um, I can see a window going through here, just letting some light down below. And then let's, we've got to check this out. This is, this, this is living. Oh my God, this is living. So I've got a couple of speakers just here. I've got a little armrest um on the on the side here so you can uh, hold a few drinks we've got some cushions in place i've got to say this upholstery is amazing i actually don't know what this material is i have not experienced this finish it's like a a leathery or a marine leathery but not leather so whatever it is you can leave a description uh leave a, a comment in the description below because that's great stuff i can see mood lights as i move my way around and what i'm going to do i'm going to start making my way to the back of the boat and you guys can follow along. I've got two pop-up cleats in the bow and I, quite a feeling of space 
and security as we make our way through because you've got quite high gunnels. So I do feel um, like at all times, you know, if, if, you're, if you're taking your family, if you've got kids, if you've got dogs, um, nobody's gonna uh, have any risk of falling overboard on this boat. So as we make our way back, I can see a window going down into the cabin just there. And we've got this beautiful center console arrangement just here. Just make sure you guys can see all of that. Um, this is great for our market. So we've got a solid T-top, we've got some forward-facing floodlights, we've got a spotlight just up there, big windscreen wiper with the freshwater flush system as well, and it does give you a lot of wind protection. You get some vortices at the back of the, uh, of the helm seat, but everybody at the helm and the passengers are protected from the, from the elements, so that's really nice. Um, the other thing we're saying, we're gonna cut to a shot of this, this whole bow area, can be protected in the shade. So there's some carbon poles that have their own little slots and then they, the, the sunshade attaches or it starts here and makes its way all the way forward and it's erected in such a manner that everybody is in shade. So this is not just an afternoon hangout zone, it's absolutely a, a day hangout zone as well. So why don't you guys go down that side and I'll go down this side of the boat and then uh, you can try and keep me in the sun, so to speak. Um, and we'll make our way through. I think let's go all the way down to the back and then we'll come back to the helm because we've got some pretty cool features back here. Um, this is an outboard boat, so it's pretty hard to hide. And uh, I'll tell you what, you really do feel like you're dominating the, uh, the water when you're powering, powering, powering uh, sorry, along on this boat. We've got a quad 350 setup. The boat can run with quad 400s. Um, we got quad 350s, we did up to 38 knots and we cruised around really comfortably in that 27 knot range and it's just a joy to drive. So that's, that was quite impressive. One thing worth noting that I just learnt today, um, it's got a built-in freshwater wash system that just plugs into a tap just here and you can just turn that on as you're washing the boat down at the end of the day and it's going to flush all your motors. That's cool, I mean I know uh, all of these modern outboards have individual plug-in uh, to, to flush them, but to be able to do that from one connection point, it's just a time saver and it's really nice to see. So anyway, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna start at the back of the boat here. So you guys just stay there and try and keep all of this in shot and I'll talk to you about what I see. Um, all of the stainless is incredibly high quality as I walk my way around. We've got this beautifully nice, um, nicely shaped and finished grab, ha uh, grab handle as you enter the boat. We've got the dog and kitty door here, which is solid. We've got a, um, a freshwater hot and cold shower just here. We've got these vents providing ventilation throughout the boat just here. Um, this is gonna be our shore power. So you've got two shore power connections here. So you can do battery charging and run your other systems like your aircon on the boat uh, as well at all times. We've got a swim ladder, which just pops out on the starboard side, but there's more options to enter and exit the water, which we're gonna cover in a second. Um, pop out cleat here, it's nice to see the Ocean Alexander logo in there, and we do have the rubbing strips, which is always sensible to see. A couple of, or oh, a speaker, and another one on the other side, just here. And the transom itself, um, you know, traditionally, people might uh, be concerned about outboard vessels because they, they lack a bit of transom space. That's not the case on this boat because we have drop down sides. So we've got a huge amount of space. We've got you know, meters and meters of usable space at the back of the boat here. So you can hang out and we've even got our own little um, bar, mini bar or, or, or just a tap and a pull out shower here and all storage down below. So that's a place for fenders, cleaning gears, uh, cleaning gear and other stuff. But you can hang out and use this like a little bit of a bar, so to speak. As we enter on this side, this hatch just down here, that's the uh, town water, um, but also the engine water flush that I was talking about. So that's just really clever thinking. Another speaker just here. And this is where we enter the main social entertainment eating part of the boat. So um, there's a lot to talk about here, so I'll, I'll try and cover everything. First things first, we've got the drop down sides. So all of a sudden this boat, this area starts to feel like a 55 footer 
not a 45 footer. So with these sides down, there are actually drop in rails and safety rails that, that go in and enclose that area just to make it a little bit safer. And when they come up, so they're all operated just with buttons, they have a locking mechanism just here, which will lock them in place. And then you have helm, uh, side opening doors, I should say, on both port and starboard. So you can access the dock from the side and you can also access it from the platform out the back there. So this rear seat here, this all uh, pneumatically goes up and down. So this can be uh, hidden out of the way if you were using this in a bit of a, uh, a fishing function. So this is gonna, you're gonna have a multi, multi use on a boat like this. Um, you can do that. So this seat will fold up and out of the way. This table can collapse like so, but isn't, isn't that beautiful? And like got nice little felt just here. So everything's really, really well done. But this table, when it's folded up, you can actually electrically drop it. So I'm just gonna, and it disappears under the floor. So then there's a little, a little piece that um, goes in there. I think it goes, I'll just put it back the way I did it. Okay, like so, and disappears. Hey presto, so this becomes a working deck. It could be a dance floor. It could be whatever you like. And if you want to enclose this area in shade, we've got an electric shade that pops out just from the T-top up here. So that is really, really nice. So you're not, you're not fiddling around in this area and you've got the option to set it up in dining mode, um, set it up in fishing mode, or just lounge around and uh, stay in the shade. A couple of drink holders in each one of these seats just here. And this, this seat here, as you would expect on a, a boat like this, it will actually face forward quite easily. But what you wouldn't expect which this boat provides is a massive flat screen TV that pops up just out of here. So happy days, Queensland, watching TV outside, warm evening. I can't think of anything better. So that's just, um, that's amazing. So before we get there, we've got a eutectic kill box just on the port side here. I'm just gonna quickly pop this open now, hopefully you guys can see this, but you could put three cases of Coronas in here. I have heard on uh, reliable advice that they do do it. So that is, that's awesome. Obviously it's for your fish as well. And we have another one matching this on that side, but that's not, uh, that's not electrified. So you, um, it does have drains. Um, so I want you guys, it is raining a little bit. So why don't you guys come and stand there and then look back at me so we don't get any rain on the screen and I want to make sure you can see all this there is a hell of a lot to talk about right here so now that we're in the middle part of the boat this is the the main part of the entertainment uh, station so to speak we are under the main uh, under the t-top and we are in shade and the shade starts about here and then when you well, when you're setting up for lunch so to speak you pop up this real carbon fiber lid and you expose this beautiful galley area. So this is like a marble top just here and we've got an electric barbie. We've got two hot plates just here. This pulls out as well, Hot. that's hot and cold. And then you've got a stainless steel sink just in there. Got some kids playing around on jet skis. It's school holidays here, all the kids um, play on their jet skis up here on the Gold Coast, so good luck to them. But all really, really good finishing as we see and make our way through. And what I also like to see is these little, just simple things. So many manufacturers don't secure things like heavy fridges, which are gonna be full of beer, lots of weight. So if you go through some waves, sometimes things like this will open without you wanting them to. But Ocean Alexander have thought of that. And here we go, we've got a wonderful big drawer fridge. Another one just under here. So you've got your option to have main one down there, another fridge, a third fridge just here, and then we've got drawers, storage, large storage, and another drawer. So you are not wanting when it comes for lunchtime or dinner time for all your bits and pieces. So that's just awesome. I'm gonna pop that down. So prep the food, eat the food, have your drinks up front, raise the TV and enjoy an evening on the boat. So now make your way to the next section and I want you guys to try and 
appreciate what I'm uh, seeing here. As I came forward, forward I should say, I, uh, I passed an ice maker at my feet. We'll cut to a shot of that. And then I've just got uh, the, the shore power controls just in a locker, just here. But this helm's amazing. Like, once again, domination is the word that comes to mind. You feel powerful on this boat, and I quite enjoy it. But this is all carbon fiber. So this is real carbon fiber everywhere we look. Um, it's gorgeous but it's got a practical fun function as well because with these darker colors up the front, nothing's, uh, nothing's glaring through and getting in your eyes. So from a visibility and a safety perspective, that's great. We've got one, two, three massive Garmin screens and they are flush mounted into the carbon just here. So this is, this is really good stuff. We've got a compass just up there and on, on the screens, obviously they're multifunction, so you can do everything under the sun. We've currently got the gyro and then we've got the sounder and we've got the chart plotter just there we do have a radar on this boat so the options are endless um, i've got the vhf spotlight this is the anchor control just here this is the mercury engine diagnostic showing you all four motors come up on the screen here uh, normal throttle lots of people are going to think you might have four levers on a on a quad boat but you don't everything's controlled digitally just through your, tradi your traditional two throttles um, so if you're used to a twin engine boat you'll be fine with a quad rig now just here we've got the joystick we have just filmed a demonstration of this so that i'll probably put that up as a separate video just there horn nav uh, and uh, navigation lights just here phone charging so usb and 12 volt just there windscreen wipers just there this is your phone charging and storage area and another little phone spot just here i'll just put my phones up there as we make our way around one two three uh drink holders just here air conditioning here and one, two, three, four. So, if you're in Melbourne, it doesn't really matter to you, but tell you what, if you're in the Whit Sundays, or if you have any plans of supporting your vessel up north, this is gonna be great. Imagine that cool air just wafting up in between your legs. Quite, uh, quite relaxing, and at the end of the day, we're here for fun and enjoyment. That's gonna do it. Um, in terms of your start-stop for your motors, that's all controlled from just here. We've got a bow thruster just here. We've got the trim tab just here. This is your actually your control for the VHF, but the head unit is just here. And quite possibly the most gorgeous steering wheel. I, I was commenting about this during the test drive. It's real carbon. It's a wonderful feel when you're actually at the helm. And it's got like a rubber backed with uh, indents for your fingers. So you can really drive it with one hand or rely on this uh, steering knob just here to control and then have your throttle hand uh, on the throttles just there. Um, nice big footstep, which I always like being a short man. So you can, um, you can rest yourself uh, in the standing position or if you're on the seats, you can actually just get comfortable uh, just there. I've got a, a subwoofer below. Um, and can you guys see me? I'm just gonna sit in the seat. Um, so from a, from a standing position, this boat is built for big people or has big people in mind. I, okay, now I'm touching the roof. Like there is a, a lot of space here. So um, if you're someone of my stature, you've got all the space in the world, but if you're a big ginormous bloke, you're gonna be fine too. And, and your big ginormous mates can also sit comfortably and dominate the space um, with ease. So. <laughs> this is great. I love this feeling. So, so this is this is very very comfortable. Uh, this is proper proper captain chair stuff, and it has an electronic actuator or a button just at my uh, right hand, just at the base, to electrically send the seat forward and back. So you can, uh, you know, when you're doing your long runs out to the island or wherever you're going, you can really set and forget and feel good on this. Uh, before we leave the helm, we'll just talk about a couple more bits and pieces. Um, we've got some drawers. So this is this is a good place for your safety grab bags. You know, if you've uh, if you just want to have some um, a space to grab at things uh, at short notice, I think that's a really good spot for it. We've got a little footrest on this side just here, and I've forgotten what was here. Oh yeah, that's the stereo, and there's a little drawer under there, which is a good place for wallets and phones. So that's quite a sensible little spot just there. Um, come with me and I think let's, shoot a, let's go down stairs and have a look and see what we find. Okay, so as you come down, uh, timber stairs, one, two, three, four, there's beautiful leather wrap around and it's, 
this is a feeling of uh, excess. <laughs> Well, it's a real feeling of quality as you come down here. This is easily one of the nicest finished um, uh, downstairs cabins that I've seen on, a, on a, a luxury day boat. And I've been on a lot of the big med day boats uh, or med style day boats before. This has got a real unique and a very nice feel to it. So what do we what do we see? We've got this wraparound lounge just here. This is going to be good for four, maybe more people. Got opening lockers, one, two, three, four on either side. This area, it is air conditioned. So I've got the air conditioning control I can see just there. And I can see what look like vents there and there. So we probably have in and out. Um, and then we've got a bit of natural light coming into this cabin, but it's it's all about privacy. So this, these windows, one, two, and three, um, they just let light in, but you've got the gunnels uh, on the other side. So there's no one's gonna be actually seeing you in the cabin down here if that's important to you. Um, we do have a hatch so that we've got an escape hatch, which would also be uh, an ability or facility to get some natural air down here should you wish. And that window uh, that was just in front of the helm, uh, in front of the windscreen I should say, is, is just located there and that lets some more natural light in. Um, this area, it's multifunction. So once again, these I just love the timber work on, on these boats. So we've got a nice little Corian or marble or something in the middle and this beautifully finished table, which manually drops down. Um, this is in social mode, but for evening mode, if you were gonna use this as a cabin, this drops down, cushion goes over the top, this panel hinges up and all these, these cushions behind me disappear and we extend into the bow to create a proper massive bed. So just picture that. Well, you don't have to picture that. We're gonna to cut to a shot of that. How awesome would that be? You know, you're off on an island somewhere, having a good time. You decide you don't wanna go home. Well, you don't have to. Um, just to cover off some of the other features that we've got here before I go and check out the loo. Um, this just looks like your main battery switches and power board just here. I've got the stereo just here. I have another fridge just here with a little freezer drawer. I've got a small stainless steel sink here with storage behind this uh, you know, marble looking bench top. Got a little microwave just here. I've got one, two, three drawers for all various uses located just here so this is this is like another little mini galley in itself after everything we've just seen up on deck um, it doesn't it doesn't end so one two three drawers underneath these stairs so they really are not wasting any of the available space on this boat um, and there's more as they say there is a beautiful large hanging locker to starboard which is gonna be great for your life jackets or your wet weather gear. And we can see a few sun umbrellas in there as well. So it really is quite, quite spacious. Now, I want you guys to come down and maybe sit in the corner and, and look back at me here because there is more, as they say. Um, so timber flooring, and I've got access into the bilge just here, but the head is amazing. So the flooring in this head compartment is a, like a marble finish. It's just, it's absolutely gorgeous. And then you've got this beautiful vanity, vanity with a glass, um, a glass sink, a real, this is like one of those mirrors you would see in an actor's change room with the, the lights shining back on you. So I reckon the lady's gonna like that. But you've got air conditioning just in here as well. You've got space for all your knickknacks and then your toiletries and cleaning gear will go under here. Um, and then there is, a, a lot of space, so I don't know if you can see, or we may have to cut to a shot uh, of this, but in terms of the head compartment itself, heaps of headroom, so standing headroom, like my arms are outstretched in here, the, in, in the head compartment itself, so this is a great area to come down and put your bikini or put your board shorts on, so it's good for that. I've got hanging towel storage, a proper electric loo just here, but there's more, because you walk into this section, and we've got a proper stand-up shower um, with a glass shower screen. This is big boat stuff. I mean, 
you, you're really not struggling at all. You got your outside shower, you got your inside shower. So you could, you know, use with a boat like this, if you're doing your, your Sydney fancy scene and off to a, res, a restaurant after your um, a day out on the water, come down here, have a shower, stick your linen shirt on and go out to dinner, you know, happy days. If you're in Queensland, who cares? Just uh, stay up on deck and shower in your bikini. So um, I think that's great. And um, you know, you're, you're, really, you're really not wanting for anything uh, for a night or two. Okay, here we are down in the uh, in the equipment room and there's a lot going on and um, this is impressive. Um, what are we looking at? Generator just here, gyro, centrally mounted, fireboy system forward of that, some um, uh, electrically actuated um, arms to op you know, open up the floor space which is below the saloon table, um, hot water system, battery banks, battery banks, um, a water tank, and you know, numerous wiring looms going forward and aft. So all very professionally laid out and easy for you know, mechanics and electricians to get down here and do their thing. So I couldn't finish this video without talking about this Octoplex system. Um, all the Ocean Alexanders have this and this is new to me, so don't consider me the expert on the topic. But um, from what I've just learned, it's pretty cool. Um, as an example, um, it, Basically, it's a full electronic management system. So it's brains and management for your boat that can um, wirelessly tap into your phone. So if you are leaving your place in Sydney and the boat's up at Hamo, you can log into the system, switch on the fridge, turn on the AC, and the boat, your drinks will be cooled and the cabin will be chilled by the time you get to Hamo. So that's amazing, but from, a, from an operational and a management perspective, it's watching all your bilges, all your systems, all your alarms, and it's, it's like a little angel, just you know, hovering over your boat all the time, just making sure everything is tickety-boo, and it will notify you, depending on what systems you're watching, if there's a problem or something that needs management. And look, technology is great, but technology doesn't always work, so they've also thought of that. If, the brains uh, don't work. There's actually physical fuses downstairs that you can operate one at a time. So I think that's good. I think that takes a lot of the stress out of boating. And uh, it's an interesting piece of kit and I'd like to learn as much as I can about this um, on more Ocean Alexanders in the future. So I, I really love uh, doing this for a job. I don't even think I could call this a job, but today's been amazing. Today really has been fit for purpose and domination has been the theme. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learnt a little bit about this, this really super awesome piece of kit. And I hope you can go and talk to your accountant and see if you can save yourself some money because if you are looking for that support vessel, if you're looking for that ultimate, ultimate lifestyle, um, the Ocean Alexander Divergence 45 is absolutely the piece of kit you should be looking at. My name's Dan Jones, this has been Dan's Boat Life. See you on the next one.